Uh, the third type, basic type, is so-called emission nebula. And uh, they, are, they appear to be reddish in color. And it is reddish for the following reason. Uh, typically, what you have is uh, uh, very uh, bright and very hot, and therefore looking blue star. And because it's so hot, it emits a lot of energy at ultraviolet wavelengths. Now, these photons of ultraviolet light, they are energetic enough so that they can actually ionize the hydrogen uh, in the uh, nebula that is surrounding uh, the star. So um, uh, here, I'll schematically draw the nebula surrounding uh, the star. So this is the nebula. So high energy UV photons can actually ionize hydrogen uh, atoms in the nebula. So what I mean by this is basically if I have a hydrogen atom with a proton here and electron uh, moving around the proton, such a UV photon can actually rip out the electron and uh, produce a proton and uh, the electron that is not bound to the proton. Well, these two guys can eventually recombine, okay? But what you get, you get a hydrogen atom in higher energy uh, state. And that electron will start dropping to the lower energy levels and in the process emit the photons. This process is called fluorescence. Okay? And it turns out that our atmosphere admits uh, high intensity red light and hence those nebulae when viewed from the surface of the earth appear to be reddish.